Do you know how many dogs I have? How many? Five. Are you serious? I'm serious. Dogs are great. I agree. I'm a dog person. I've always been a dog person. Me too. I chose to go into aging services because of my mother and, more importantly, my grandmother. When my grandmother couldn't live alone any longer, she lived with us. And I can honestly tell you that I have such fond memories of, uh, of my grandmother. I remember coming home from school and we'd play cards and she'd tell me about what it was like to live in a little town in Sicily. And I just have such fond memories of my grandmother and also the way my mother took care of my grandmother. It just uh, really opened my eyes to the fact that I want to share that kind of moments with uh, the residents that I serve here at Claridge Court. Hey, Mrs. Berry, how are you doing? Well, I think he's a good leader because he, he feels for people. He has their, their feelings and their, uh, and their desires uh, are, are what he's trying to accomplish. And at the same time, run a, uh, an organization that's uh, financially responsible. Well, David is a, a very warm person, very open person. Uh, he is open to new ideas, uh, and he's uh, got enthusiasm. David is an exceptional leader. He has energy. I have never seen him have an off day. He's always on, and he's dedicated, definitely dedicated to his role here. We were told constantly that because of the size of our community, we were landlocked and that there was no way we'd have a health center expansion, let alone a wellness center expansion, talking about a swimming pool, an underground swimming pool. But uh, here we are today and an idea has now really materialized and we actually have a viable project on our hands. He's gone ahead and started uh, a number of new programs here. We have a, a wellness program going on. We have a, a brain game program going on. We have a university going on all designed to be attracted to the next generation of people who uh, want to come here. He really sees what the market holds for the future, what types of things we're going to need. And it's important that, that we realize that what our customers, our residents want today is not necessarily what the, the next generation of residents are going to want. And a good transformational leader needs to be able to meet the needs of the current residents that, that, they're, that they're serving and actually exceed their expectations but also to talk to the next generation and do some, some case studies and to talk to other people and to find out what their interests and what their needs are. We've made some uh, changes to the physical plant of the health center. There's no longer a central nurses station. We're doing the spa uh, concept you know, instead of the shower room. Some advice I have for some young leaders, I would say is that first of all, you've made a wonderful uh, decision. This is a wonderful career. And uh, more importantly, you've chosen a, a profession where you truly can make a difference. And I'm talking, I make, you can make a difference every day in someone's life. We've been absolutely thrilled at Kansas City and at Claridge Court. And of course, a lot of that is due to David's leadership. Well, I've already told him that I think it's, uh, that I'm, I'm proud of him for getting, that, for getting that done. And uh, he knows that I'm a supporter of his. He's so dedicated to his job here. He shows so much compassion for the residents and for the employees. Uh, he's just an exceptional person to work for. David, congratulations and it's well deserved. I'm very honored by this, but I, I do just want to say, just in closing, that this award, uh, it may have my name on it, but it is truly the accomplishment of everyone that I have the pleasure of working with. I am just, I'm so blessed. I work with so, so, so many wonderful department directors and the associates here they make coming to work just such a, a pleasure.